Hey guys, good morning. Today we're gonna do another project. Let me get some coffee in me and we're gonna get started. Today we're gonna be doing some backup. I've got about 40 megs of data that needs to be backed up. It's actually videos for the YouTube channel here. And um, we need to move them to another computer because we've started doing video editing on another machine. And uh, we need to move about 40 meg on to the other machine. The biggest thumb drive that we have is roughly uh, 4 to 8 meg. And it's just not big enough. We've got a portable hard drive, but that has data on it that uh, we don't want to erase. So I'm going to look at some alternatives today to backing up a data and moving it. Instead of pulling it over the network and slowing the whole network down, we're going to do it a little bit differently. I have some hard drive enclosures here and this one I've taken it all apart uh, it's a gigaware enclosure and it is for a SATA drive so we've got a SATA drive here this one let's see if we can see that yeah the macro on the camera is not working anyway this is a 250 gig SATA drive so that thing's huge so if there's something on there that I don't need I could always delete that another alternative is this drive which is the older one and it's an IDE by the way these are the uh, insides to the SATA drive so this actually goes inside this black box and then you have your hard drive which um, just shoves into here like that another alternative is an IDE drive hard drive both of these incidentally are USB I've just taken uh, the insides out of this one and of course you're going to have an IDE drive um, on a a fixed ribbon cable type thing and then there's the power connector so this is an 80 gigabyte hard drive I'm gonna go ahead and try to go with the bigger SATA I have an extra SATA here um, which is a 200 gig so I've got a 250 and a 200 I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and hook them up. Now the power adapter for this setup uh, we we lost or we can't locate or we gave it away whatever so what we've decided to do that works really well is we've converted an old ATX power supply out of a computer to a uh, 12, 12 volt line that we use to power these drives. Let me show you how it works so this is the old school type power supply we've mounted a switch to the side here we've come into the 12 volt line which is the black and the yellow we've cut one of these ends off here and I connected it soldered it directly to a jack it's able to plug right into there So it goes something like that. And then we just need the connector for the computer. USB. We've got the USB end. So, uh, to recap real quick, what I'm doing, I've got a SATA desktop hard drive. It's a 250 gigabyte. I've got a external case enclosure for a SATA hard drive. I just installed the USB cable to go to my computer, this black one. It's got type A and B ends on it. Here's for the computer side. 
And then for the power supply, we're using this old power supply that came out of an earlier computer. It had the power switch uh, that came with it. This originally was routed up to the front of the computer's case. We've just tapped into the two lines. We found 12 volts uh, uh, DC. Really good current. It's very clean. Uh, black and yellow on that. And if you notice, uh, the black is actually the positive on this one. And the yellow is our ground or negative. And it goes to our connector that we probably just cut off an old power cable or something. We made this a little while back, so I'm not sure where all the parts come from, but it works good. So I'm gonna take it into the other room. We're gonna hook it up to the computer and see how it runs. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back again. I'm trying to back up data using an external power supply that I've rigged up. Take a look. So with all the parts that we've collected out in the other room, I think we're, we're ready for the transfer. The computer that we're going to be transferring the data from is on the bottom here. So with the power supply hooked up, I just need to finish off by connecting this to the uh, computer, which is on the bottom and uh, connecting my power supply to an AC source. Give me a second with that. I'm gonna pull the whole thing out to make it a little bit easier. Find the USB cable. There's a handy AC source. With a computer power supply uh, plugged in, all we have to do is flip this switch. And we can see that we, uh, we're running. There's a little light on the front there. I didn't put it back in the case because we do switch the hard drives out quite often. Okay, we're back to the computer where I'm going to be moving the data. I'm going to put myself right up there. I'm going to go ahead and turn on this USB device that we just rigged into this computer. Take a look and see if it's been found. And there it is. We're going to open it up. Looks like it's going to be called Backup J. See that? Backup J. Now the only thing that's on this hard drive is uh, is music. I, I want to keep that on there, so I'm just going to make a new folder. Right click, new folder. I'm going to call this videos, because that's what we're moving. I'm going to go ahead and open my raw videos. Select all the videos that I want to copy open the videos folder and paste them into their proper spot okay so I'm gonna go ahead and let this copy when the copying is done I'll be able to take it over to another machine I could either take the hard drive and put it into the machine directly or I can just use the same method and move it over okay so I've been working at this for a little while now and uh, I'll take you over here and show you what I've done there's the drive there sitting on the power supply that we talked about earlier. It's going into a USB cable. And uh, we've moved the uh, videos onto this machine. So in a nutshell that's how you do it. If you have any questions you can always leave comments below. Uh, let me know how you back up your stuff. I'd be very interested in knowing how. Um, thanks for watching. Thumbs up the video and thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Have a good one. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.